Guess what time it is? Guess what time it is? <gasps> it's time for another episode of Briggs Beverage Reviews. I'm Brig. This is Alfie. He's probably leaving, but who knows? I'm doing something a little different. This episode of Briggs Beverage Reviews is going to be featuring Le Bon de Bordeaux, which is a fabulous, potentially, I don't know, uh, wine label that you can get at Trader Joe's. It used to be like $5 bottles and now they're up to about seven. Um, I have had the red blend several times but I don't think I've had it recently, so I probably haven't had the 2018. Um, and I honestly, I'm sure I used to drink rosé all the time. In fact, I did one summer attempt to drink every rosé that Trader Joe's had for under $10. Um, and this was one of them. Obviously, it used to be $5, so I definitely drink this one. But I don't really remember. I haven't gone back and looked at what I thought of it. Um, so I thought it'd be really fun to try the whole series. Today's an awesome sunny day, which is perfect for the soft Blanc. This one I have absolutely not had before, so I'm pretty excited. Um, so let's pop this bad boy open. Let's get it. You know it's, oh God. You know it's a good quality bottle of wine when you can slide off the foil without any problem. Sauv Blanc is personally my favorite white type. Um, I typically, I believe in don't judge a wine by the grape kind of person. The don't judge a don't judge a wine by the varietal. Um, so I pretty much try anything. What I expect of a Sauv Blanc is for it to be crisp fruity, maybe florally, but not sweet. And I also expect it to be like about this, this color. The clearer it is, the happier I am. To me, a Sauv Blanc should not be oaked. That should be stainless steel. That should be like, don't mess with it. Okay. Anyways, enough talking. I haven't even tried it yet. So. <laughs> I did just have some jelly beans. Maybe, maybe that's a problem. Hang on, let me get something. Oh, I bet you thought it was gonna be popcorn, huh? Hmm. Well, it's not. It's not. Just need something crunchy. Which some people use like those plain flavored things to clear your palate or whatever, but I prefer something salty especially because I just had something sweet and like very fruity. All right, that's better. Yeah, that's better. It's good, it's pretty. Pretty standard, standard cup of, cup of grapes. I'm gonna keep drinking this, get back to you and then I'll yeah, I'll let you know how I feel. I've decided to take myself on a walk, so I'm gonna prep a sippy cup for that, you know. It's gonna be a good walk. Finished my walk, finished my wine, maybe poured myself a little more. My thoughts, it's fine. It's fine, it's good, it's totally good. <laughs> it it's fine. I'm fine, the wine is fine. The crows out here are fine. It's 
all fine. Next. Day two. Uh, finished this bad boy yesterday. Woke up this morning. Actually don't feel that bad. Um, so, good job, soft Blanc. Um, yeah, like I said, it's pretty freaking mediocre, um, but just drink it, I guess, if you want. So, today's rosé day, and it's super sunny out. So, that means if it's sunny out, you have to drink rosé. Or white wine. I would say what would make these bottles better uh, is if they were twist off. And I only say that because these are great to go wines, like take it to a park, take it on a boat, take it hiking. Um, although lately taking the glass hiking sounds like <clears throat> terrible idea. Very nice pink color. Ooh, that is tangy. So I know I said I wasn't gonna compare the the wines because it wasn't really my point was to say like which one is better. Um, but so far I definitely like the white wine more. <laughs> well, I'll keep drinking and get back to you. All right, currently in the process of making sandwiches. So I just licked some mustard and we'll see how it tastes with that. It does cut back on the bite a little bit, actually, which is nice. Um, yeah, that first taste was like so tart. This isn't a super peppery salami. Hmm, that was pretty good. Like the saltiness. Mm. Yeah, right. Yeah, the first drink I did not like. But, you know, I actually felt that way about the white wine, too. So, who knows? Maybe that's just how these Les Portes de Bordeaux wines are, you know? Hello. It's nighttime now. I have finished the rose. <laughs> Help me. It was um, good. Yeah. Took it on the water. Ate it with my sandwiches. No complaints so far. It's good. And I know. I drank the whole bottles. Both by myself. All right, so I'm ready to try the last one of Le Porte de Bordeaux, um, and it's the red wine. And I think this is the one I probably picked out the most often from Trader Joe's just because um, I myself grew up drinking Bordeaux wine. And when I say grew up, I mean I didn't like wine until I studied abroad in Bordeaux and I forced myself to drink a ton of red wine. Poor me. Wow, that sounds so pretty. <laughs> I studied abroad. I studied abroad in Bordeaux and that's where I learned to get a palate for wine. <laughs> but that's actually true. Um, so I'm really excited for the red. I'm pretty sure I haven't had the 2018 version because um, I haven't gotten it in a while. but. I wasn't going to um, open this tonight, but then I started making pork chops and it's like, I feel like I need some wine while I'm making them. I normally drink stemless because um, I'm clumsy. But, uh, for you, for fanciness, I will use a stem. 
The thing with the Bordeaux blend is it's going to be super drinkable. Uh, with French wine, they don't tell you necessarily what grapes are in it, but um, there are a set of classic Bordeaux grapes that go into it that you can kind of assume are probably all in there. Um, the other thing with French wine, I normally drink Washington wine for this very reason, is French wine is normally lower alcohol content yeah this is three percent which for a washington red typically they're between 14 and 15 and a half percent that's one of france's biggest criticisms actually of washington wine specifically they kind of felt that way about um californian wine but now washington wine has just like completely blown it out of the water alcohol content wise um, the French say, oh, the alcohol flavor covers up the flavor of the grapes, but the alcohol flavor covers up the flavor of your life. I'm just kidding. It just adds more color to your life. If you are at Trader Joe's and you're like, yo, I just want something reliable, or you're going to somebody's house and you're not sure what they're cooking, it's great. Yeah. I'll keep, I'll keep drinking it and get back to you if there's any updates any changes of opinion i might switch to a different glass because literally i feel ridiculous drinking this in my house in my pajamas also the stem is so skinny it's gonna break who i've never used this before i don't think i just found it in the cupboard it's quite well there is no evidence but uh it's the next day and uh, I did not finish the bottle. I am having just one of those days where, yeah, that's all happening for sure. Yeah. Honestly, this wine is, was great yesterday. I mean, it's is it the number one wine in the whole world? No. Is it even the number one under $10 wine from Trader Joe's? Probably not, but you know, it's good. Day two with red wine is often better because it has a little bit more chance to breathe. Um, I would say it's about the same. Every once in a while you get a cheap red wine that you taste and it's like super acidic or just uh, the wine term, it's really tight. And then you maybe have a glass one day and then the next day you have it and it tastes completely different and it has nothing to do with the food you're eating or anything like that, but it's actually because it has had a little bit more breathing time um this is not the case it tastes about the same it's nothing mind blowing but it's always really cool when you have a cheap wine and you leave it open for a day and it suddenly it has blossomed into something even more magnificent than the cheap bottle of wine that you bought originally so first one was the sauv blanc this was really good i will get this again really good for the price point. Have I had better soft blancs? Yes. But, you know, if you're like, oh crap, I need a white wine, about to go have a sunny day, grab it really quick, you know this will be good. You're not going to be super disappointed. Um, it's not quite as, oh my gosh, the cats are insane. It's not quite as um, crisp. It's a little more on the tart side of a soft blanc than I personally like prefer but it's still good the rosé was also good <laughs> um again is it the best one in the entire world absolutely not is it the worst one no it's totally drinkable totally fine reliable you can see it in the store just grab it so I guess that's kind of the theme of all three they're all good they're not all great but they get the job done and in a pinch, I'm pretty sure I've seen like every Trader Joe's, at least in the greater Seattle area, I've always seen these there. And I assume they would at least be in like California and Oregon as well. Um, anywhere you have a Trader Joe's. And plus you get to think of me studying abroad in Bordeaux and you have them. You probably don't have nostalgia for Bordeaux wine, but yeah, 
all reliable, all good. But cheers, that's, that's all she wrote. Thanks for watching. Leave me comments if you want me to drink something else or if you want me to say something else or anything. Um, please, bye.